What's up? It's Terry B with another uh, cycling related video. We're talking about this bike right here. Um, this is the new stream setup. This is 2.0. So let's check it out. So here's the new bike. Well, the new setup 2.0. I'll give you a quick uh, update on the bike or description of the bike. It's uh, an Affinity Low Pro. This is the size large. This is the Japanese version, so it is drilled for brakes and it has internal brake routing. Front and rear brakes on this bike. I'm running uh, Omniums with a Sajino Zen 50 tooth in the front and a White Industries 17 in the back. It's on Belgium Plus head, Belgium Plus rims. Uh, I got SRAM red brakes. Um, what else? These are some race face Chester pedals, whatever chain, <laughs> Thompson seat clamp, Thompson titanium seat post, Thompson four bolt 130 stem. So this frame, the top tube is shorter on these frames. So I have a longer stem to help with that. And then that's on some clamp to some Thompson titanium uh, flat bars. I have Shimano shifters and some uh, old housing here for the brakes and then the seat is a Richie comp which not the biggest fan of but still rocking it still working so whatever I got the hotline slap here on the chain stay on the inside and those should be coming in this week so that's cool happy to get some of those back and then let's see what else can I share with you um, this mount here is a all these things you can find on the Amazon store. This mount here is a um, it hooks up to my Wahoo. It also has a GoPro mount on the bottom. I used to put my streaming camera here, which you can see it's there now, but uh, it's holding a clamp for a Night Rider light. So now I can use a light on this bike and stream at night, and hopefully it'll give it a cool look. Uh, then uh, I have a Spur Cycle Bell, ODI grips, and Ben's cycles milwaukee cycles um barns all right now the new frame bag i didn't even talk about the frame bag so blue lug in japan made these bags here called the fair weather individual bag and this is a fit perfectly for this low pro frame so this fits the large i think they have different ones for the large the medium and the small and it's a perfect fit, it goes all the way down, and I'll show you what I got in here. Not much in here now, other than some cables on this side. <laughs> and on the other side, more cables in a big ass battery, as you can see here. So this whole setup, leads me right into my stream setup. So that battery that's in the bag is now lower down here by the uh, bottom bracket. So the weight is lower to the ground, which makes it a lot, uh, feel a lot better riding through traffic. And then let's talk about the stream setup here. So I now have the live view attached to the top tube on the side here, on the right side, as you can see. So I have two modems on the side there connected and it shows that we are yes we are live and we are streaming right now we have people on right now and we are at a solid 7.8 uh megs up is that megs yes megs up and uh pretty good i think i can do an hd stream <laughs> pretty pretty solid with that connection <laughs> and then uh we have two blackhawk modems this one and this one on this side and this is a chrome bag that's squashed and with these modems here on the sides, this is so they can breathe um, well. And it's kind of pushed into a triangle shape now, which actually fits this really nicely. And then I have the uh, stunt man. This is the strap that goes on a backpack. It's just shoved in here. And then I have this little ball mount and this is the phone mount. And this is where I put chat. So I'm still working on the mount. Obviously having a quad lock up here would be nice, but I'm trying to avoid having a big ass phone in the screen of the stream. I'd rather it just be a clean bar shot. And then for my camera, it's a GoPro Hero 8. We are streaming now, hello. 
stream. Hello, Twitch. Um, and it's got a media mod on it and it's plugged directly into the back, the HDMI and the power cable. I'll show you that here. And then it's running a wind slayer over it. And I've also modified the uh, media mod. I've taken apart the little so-called shotgun mic. They say it's a shotgun mic. It's actually not, it's a piece of shit. So I've broken it apart and shoved more foam in there. A little mod to help with the audio for the wind. And then what's holding the GoPro on here is a steer tube spacer that has a GoPro mount on it. And then attached to that is a GoPro mount to a quarter 20. And then on top of that is another quarter 20, the female side to GoPro mount. And the reason why is the lens on the GoPro here is off center and the steer tube mount is centered. So in order to get the lens to be perfectly straight over the stem, which is not perfectly straight yet, <laughs> it's almost there, um, you have to offset the GoPro mount and then twist the GoPro on the quarter 20 screw and tighten it. So that's what I'm using right now to get it to work. Uh, it's pretty clean so far. Um, I think other than my technical difficulties that I normally have with the stream and all this stuff, those of you guys who stream IRL know that there are some complications from time to time, or in my case, every time I stream, um, <laughs> uh, that you gotta iron out. So anyways, that's the bike. That's the setup, there's the live view, there's the modems, that's the camera. And the battery again, like I said, is way down here. And it's working well like this. Um, again, this was not planned. I had no idea these were coming. Uh, this has just happened to happen when I'm already working with the stream stuff and um, just Jason gave me one and it's, it's a perfect fit for the bike, so why not give it a try? pull back and give you a look at the bike again. One more thing, quick update. This is part of version two right here. I forgot to mention the new case uh, before I had the phone mount here in this bag, but now I have a solution to fit here. So I have a male Wahoo mount to my phone case. As you can see, there's no phone in it right now, or I wouldn't be able to film this. And then this clips on this way here. So I filmed with it on Twitch today and uh, it already broke. The case itself and the amount on the case is solid. It's still good. What broke was the Wahoo mount here. I don't know if you can see that. The piece that holds it here on the back end broke off. So that's done. And it broke before I can even show you guys. I had the phone set out right here, all nice and neat. Imagine the phone screen right here. I can read chat and engage while I'm riding the bike. It was nice. It was out of the way of the camera. Here's the camera here. So it was solid, but it broke. So now I'm using, I have a quad lock case. Um, shout out to the huge donation on uh, Twitch I got today. And I immediately went and found a quad lock to buy. So this is just a wrist strap and this is just temporarily, but they do have the out front mount and I have done some investigation and it looks like it has a two bolt adapter like this with a, a, ma a main bolt through the center for this Allen key bolt here. So I'm gonna be buying that and seeing if I can get it to work here. Updates on that soon. Anyways, peace. All right, if you guys have any questions about any of this stuff or streaming or the Affinity Low Pro or even the bag, 
let me know. I'll have the links to uh, where you can get the bags. I'll have the links to my stream, um, the Twitch, uh, the bike, and uh, every other thing you probably want to know uh, in the description of this video. Um, so anyways, thanks for watching and I will see you guys soon. Peace. So we bring to a close the story of rigid control through the unceasing research and the highest quality.